Yo, what's going on? Your boy is at it again. Another hot review. Trams on deck. Today, we got a nice heavy hitter. Today, we got the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Yes, sir. Drinking from the family tree today. S. Woodford is my last name in real life. Yes, sir, it is. This one right here is bought at 45.2%. And this is a well-known brand in the bourbon world, a very entry level, some people may call it. But um, they do have higher expressions that they do. Uh, the Woodford Reserve, they have more like an antique, uh, with their antique collection. They have uh, the cherry wood. They have a, uh, a wine finished one um, and a few other, I think a brandy finish. So, um, and usually the, the Woodford Reserve, um, the uh, higher version of it, those normally go for around 150 bucks in ballpark. And those are kind of hard to find. You don't see those everywhere. Be it as it may, this one right here is one that I have, this is my very first bottle. This was actually a gift to me from one of my co-workers, Maldo. He hit me with this very quick. Uh, as my, like I said, my last name was actually Woodford. So is this bottle. So, uh, you know, back in my mind, I'm like, this might be some uh, family members who actually are in the uh, ownership of this. Be it as it may. Um, uh, Woodford Reserve is, I've had several bottles of the, the entry level expression. This one is a higher uh, expression than, I would, in my opinion, than the entry level one. Um, this one goes for roughly around 45 bucks or so, uh, give or take. Certain stores, independent stores, may jack all the way up to $60. I've seen it before, it's sitting on the shelf for 60 bucks, which is way overpriced. Because um, you can get it for cheaper, that's why I say that. So, um, but this one, like I said, ballpark 45 bucks or so. 45, no more than 50 bucks, and, and you should be paying for this. Anything above the low 50s, uh, um, you know, they might start to get slightly above the normal price. But um, be it as it may. It's very accessible. You definitely would not have a hard time finding this in the liquor store or even at a restaurant. So if you had a restaurant or a, a decent one, I mean, you know, something probably, I don't, I don't know if the Fridays or Applebee's will have it, but maybe something slightly above that. If they don't, you should be able to find this. And uh, it shouldn't break the bank even for a shot of it. A shot of this probably shouldn't go no more than, you know, 15 bucks, I would think. Uh, so 20 at best. Uh, so anyway, uh, but you're still way too much when you think that the price for two shots is damn near a bottle. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to jump right in on this. On the palate, well, I'm, as I was, on the nose first. The nose is very sweet, actually. You know, when I before I was gifted this bottle, my preconceived notion of this, I think we all have preconceived notions before we know or we do our research or try it firsthand, that it was going to be super oaky. However, I do like oak. I don't need it. And when I said double oak, it just kind of in my mind, I was thinking it was like an oak monster. So that's not what this is, actually. This is very sweet, actually. It has like a, a nice, sweet, uh, charred, like a honey vanilla smell to it. And truth be told, oak is not even coming up much on, my, on the nose here. I'm picking up sweetness, like I said, like syrupy, vanilla, like a little spice, all spice, nutmeg. Very, very nice, mellow um, smell to it. Like I said, it's about like 45 percent, so it's it's yeah, it's above higher ABV, but it's not uh, uh, bourbon or barrel proof or anything like that. So. It definitely doesn't necessarily have to have water in it unless you choose to. That's your discretion. But uh, but yeah, the f very first one ever, uh, double oaks uh, here. So jump around on this palette real quick. To be honest, this, I, I hate to say it, but I pre I, I preconceived this bottle. So I had a notion that, it, like I said, as I said not too long ago, they were just an oaky ass uh, uh, bourbon. And when I, you know, when I got it and I tried it, it's not the case. This starts off as a traditional uh, Woof Reserve, the entry level one. 
But what separates this from the original one is that it's further matured than barrels that have have been uh, charred. And so because they have that, that charring in it, and it has that, I think it's like a sweeter finish to it. So when it's matured in those barrels that are, that are sweeter, it imparts more vanilla, more honey, and more fruit flavors because of the, the charring that they have doing with that barrel. So this one right here is definitely smoother and sweeter than the, than the first. And like I said, and the truth be told, it says double oak. And I think that's what caught me. I was like, uh, I thought it was going to be super oaky. And it, trust me, it does not taste super oaky at all. Not at all. It's more sweet than anything else. And it's like more of a sweeter bourbon. And that's what, so the, the name kind of uh, shocked me, kind of kind of threw me off a little bit. But when I tried this, just not like this, it, it, it didn't taste anything like what I thought it would. So another sip. The flavors are consistent from front to end. So from the entry level to the mid palate to the finish, it's consistent. I think that's one of the things that Woodford Reserve likes to impart consistency. Sort of like, um, um, they, like they like to keep it in, in the same way. So, you know, there's certain uh, restaurants when they make the sandwiches, they put, you know, ketchup, mayonnaise, everything all throughout the sandwich. That's your first fight. I mean, as I was, the first bite is consistent as the last bite. So it's the same way with this. It's consistent all the way through. So it doesn't, um, all the flavors from when you first taste it to the end are very consistent. It's not, you know, super strong or anything like that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a nice, uh, meaty, it's full of flavor. It has, you know, I don't see much legs on it. It has an amber color. But I will say it has a nice coating to it. It's not the most viscous and oily uh, bourbon I've had, but it definitely has some, some nice viscosity to it. Along with them imparting that sweetness from the charring of the barrels, that you know it has a very nice, like I said, undertone of sweetness. Like I said, you're getting brown sugar, you're getting honey, you know, you 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 get those like those kind of sweet mellow undertones with the vanilla, and it's very nice and pleasant. It is definitely better than the original. So the OG with a reserve and this are not the same. Trust me, this one is is, is a step above. Uh, at least the original version. So it's a little bit more expensive too than the original version. So and it's like I said, when, even though it says double oak, that was my preconceived notion. So I, I, I prejudged this in a negative way before I tried it. And now that I tried it, I'm kind of eating my word. Well, I didn't, I didn't put, put it out publicly, but within my own mind, I, I you know, I was like, wow, okay. And it was the same way with the Jack Daniels, but I, you know, so I guess certain brands like Jack Daniels and uh, with a reserve because they're so common, Sometimes you, you 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 tend to take it for granted if, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like it definitely definitely um, they definitely have some common uh, like entry level Jack and entry level you know worth of reserve is you know nothing special, but they do have multiple. They pump out multiple expressions, and throughout those multiple expressions, you would definitely find some that are totally different, totally distinct from the originals that are far better. Like I said, as I, in my earlier reviews, how I specifically said Jack Daniels. Barrel proof is far better than the original number seven, night and day, not even close. And to me, this is definitely superior than their entry level Wilford Reserve. I'm not saying that is night and quite night and day, but it's definitely better. It's, it's noticeably better, noticeably, significantly uh, better. I will say that. And it's only ten, like maybe like a ten dollar difference. So the, the difference is not going to break the bank or anything like that. So it's very affordable. We'll take one more set, and then we'll go to the rating. You guys should love this. I mean, for, for a comfort drink, accessible, easy to go, you can mix it if you want. I mean, I, I'm not a mixing guy, but you could. But this is a very easy drink, and it is very good. I definitely enjoy this. I'm looking forward to buying another per, uh, another bottle once it's in. But I really enjoy this. Like I said, for accessibility, the price, 
and that sweetness is lingering. It has a medium finish to it. But from the front to the end, you pick up the same characters. Like I said, you pick up the vanilla, the honey, the sweetness, the brown sugar, all that tied in. It, like, it's, shock, it's shocking me how sweet that it is. It is very good. Like I said, better. It's definitely significantly better than the OG uh, entry level Wilford Reserve. So I'll scale one to 10. I definitely would give this a solid. Believe it or not, I give this an eight, man. It really is. I love the sweetness to it. I love the fact that it's accessible, affordable. It's, you know, it's not quite, you know, barrel proof at 50%, but it's still good. Love the flavors. And it's a seven and a half, eight for me. And the reason why I probably give it an eight is because of the fact that you don't have to hunt it down. It is, I mean, it is very, it's, it's mixable and it's straight. So you can do either one. It's flexible for people who like to do those type of things. I'm more of a, of a neat guy. I'm not much of mixing. But if you want to mix it, it's versatile. You can mix it. You know, certain bourbons, you just don't do that. This one, you could if you choose. So you can mix it. You can drink it straight. It's not super uh, strong. So for people who, you know, who are not into that type of thing, it has a nice, sweet, mellow tone. It's affordable. And it's definitely better than original. So for me, because of all those factors in total, I will give it an eight. You know what I'm saying? If I just judge it off taste alone, it's maybe close to seven and a half. I think if it was a higher proof for me personally, it would make it, you know, on taste alone, uh, you know, eight. But when, when I say eight, I'm, I'm factoring everything that I just named, not just including the taste. So if you put it all together, it's definitely an easy buy again. Like I said, for 45, 50 bucks, easy buy. It's a comfort drink. You can come home, drink it. And it's very comfortable. It's, it's not super strong, not super weak. It's very nice. has a nice, mellow, consistent sweetness to it. It's very good. I like it. Definitely. So, for me, Double Oak is a go. Check it out. If you haven't already, please like. Hit the like button, subscribe button. If you like what you see, hit me in the comment box. I will definitely always respond back to you. Thank you for your support and your time. Till then, signing off. I got more heat coming your way. Yes, sir. Dram Zone Dad.